They set up. Did anybody set up? Okay, I got one, I see, with the correct notation. Just remember, guys, if we're going to sh be showing this, you can see this graph, right? You know they don't connect. And even if you guys had a graph calculator, you could graph them and say, oh, they're not continuous. However, if we're trying to communicate to somebody that this is non-continuous, we want to make sure that we can say, well, if this is going to be, um, if uh, this is not continuous, or if we want to, oh, sorry, evaluate, uh, I'm sorry, I should probably say, evaluate the limit of f of x, and actually I forgot to write that up there, we need to make sure that the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x has to equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. Sorry, I forgot to add in the limit portion of this. So if we're going to evaluate the limit, we know that the left and the right hand limit have to be exactly the same, right? So now, to evaluate the limit, though, these are both two continuous functions. So we know as long as they meet, we're good. Now, to evaluate, since these are two continuous functions, we can, just apply, we can just apply direct substitution. We can just plug in the value and figure out what the, uh, the y value is or the height, right? Does that make sense? Uh, did I go over that enough for you guys to understand that? As long as it's continuous, just plug in that value, and you're going to get the height. So since here's you know, wherever 2 is. This is telling us of a function that's to the left of 2. So that's going to be your left-hand limit. So by plugging in 2, we'd have 3 minus 2 has to equal the right-hand limit, which is all x values that are greater than 2, which is going to be 2 over 2 plus 1. And what we see is 3 minus 2 is 1, has to equal 1 plus 1 is 2. They are not equal, so therefore, this limit of 2 does not exist, right? Because they'd have to be the same limit approaching from the left and from the right for the limit to exist.